Good morning. Welcome to Pastor's Chat. I'm Pastor Barb Bartling, Senior Pastor at Holy Comforter Lutheran Church in Kingwood, Texas, uh, bringing you hopefully a time of comfort, help, distraction, and connection. So today's topic is the Triduum. The Triduum, that's the three sacred days of Thursday, Friday, Saturday, seen as one celebration where the central events of Christianity are celebrated. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, which actually means Sunday, but I'll explain more about that in just a minute. Let me start with Maundy Thursday. With Maundy Thursday service, we are reminded of the command to love as we are loved. We are given the pronouncement of forgiveness with the absolution. We have the institution of Holy Communion, remember where Jesus celebrated the Passover with his disciples, but in turn he said, this is my body, this is my blood. And also the ending of the service with the reading of Psalm 22, while the altar is stripped, representing Christ stripped of his power and his glory. The service then ends with the church left in semi-darkness, and we move toward Good Friday. With Good Friday, this is an austere time of reflection and intercession, a time of meditation and prayer, if you would as well as the adoration of Christ, the sacrificial lamb. The church gathers on Good Friday to celebrate the Lord's sacrifice on the cross, but there is still triumph. It is the celebration of his triumph over death. Which leads us now to the vigil of Easter. This is the climax of the sacred three days that began on Maundy Thursday. The cross is vindicated as the Lord's throne generally held to extend into Easter day. You really want to have the Easter vigil go into Sunday because it's the climax, the, the end of the story, if you would, with the empty tomb. And so then Easter. Easter is the central feast of the Christian year, the queen of feasts, the crown of the whole year, a time of glad and joyful celebration, a continuing experience because remember, every Sunday is a mini, M-I-N-I, -I, Easter. Every Sunday we celebrate the resurrection of Jesus. And as such, it lasts not for a day, but for a week of weeks. Seven weeks we celebrate Easter. Beloved, may you remember always that you are a child of God, redeemed, saved, and loved beyond our understanding. And as Easter people, we live his way in his light. May you be a blessing to others. Let us pray. Lord God, you have called your servants to ventures of which we cannot see the ending, by paths as yet untrodden through perils unknown. Give us faith to go out with good courage, not knowing where we go, but only that your hand is leading us and your love supporting us. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Peace.